My philosophy of life is rather simple. There's only now. The past is gone. The future isn't here yet. The reality of your life is only in this moment. And everything is what it is. It's not more, it's not less, it's not different. It is exactly what it is. And when you come to terms with that, you'll understand that this moment is the best moment you can possibly have because it is the only moment you can ever have. It's now. And the one of a few seconds ago, that was then. Now it's now. If you can appreciate everything in your life that you have now, you will be a contented person. Exactly what do you really need for your existence now? Are you hungry? Well, you're not dying from hunger at this moment. You could eat something if you wanted to. And then that feeling would pass. Now, do you need to have a Mercedes? Now, do you need a, a house bigger than the one that you have? Or do you need a space even more than the one that you have? How many chairs do you need? How many sofas? How many bed linens? It's a lot of things that people strive for in life. Possessions, the Rolex watch, something to show to somebody else to somehow prove your status in life. Is that really what you want to be doing with your life? Or do you want your life to be about you and your purpose and using your time in a productive way, not just for yourself, but also to help others? I think that would be a life well fulfilled. So what you need to do is you need to dream big, big, big dreams. Big dreams, even bigger. Dream the biggest dream that you can and make it even bigger. And then make a plan. How can you accomplish that dream? Start on that road. Make plans. But then just make the plans. Actually take those steps to start to do it. And your whole life will change just by pursuing the dream that you really want for your life. It's not going to be easy to determine what that is. Because we have so many other voices in our heads. The voices of mothers and fathers and brothers and sisters. And friends and people that don't really want us to succeed. And teachers. Oh, and Cub Scout leaders. Everybody who had some picture of who they thought you were. And what you should be doing with your life. But you need to take the time to arrive at what you want to do now. Not what you wanted to do when you were 8 years old or 9 years old or 23, 35, 87. doesn't matter what the age was. You have to decide what you want to do now. Keep dreaming. The world has no limitations that you need to worry about. When you're out there doing your dream and you hit one of those limitations, the world will let you know. And you don't have to give up. You just maybe have to take a slight detour and go to Go around the corner, find a different way to accomplish it. But you can do it. But you have to do it. And you can also get some help. But say a prayer. Whatever force you believe in, that prayer is. And most important of all, don't ever give up. Don't ever give up. Never give up. You'll succeed.